All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Psyche, Psyche K, K season, season one, one, episode 17. 17. <laughs> yeah, so one of these days we'll find out how to do intros for this show mm. because... I mean, because we just want it. <laughs> we come here like filthy, filthy degenerates, and we're just like, yeah, 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 yeah give me, give me more yeah. of this uh -huh. shit. And but like, I want it, I want it, I want basically, it. it's just how many times can we be like, do you think we'll get a new character this episode, or like, who do you think will will get focused? Because that's basically all we can come up with as far as predictions or like really carry or over maybe from previous some episodes. really obscure references to other comedies and their scenarios that Psyche K could kind of rip off a little bit and then just do better. Right. You know? But like... Kinda? The thing is, I'm so happy mm -hmm. every time that we get to watch another episode of this yeah, show. Me too. It's actually maybe a problem. It might um, be a problem, yeah. But we I watch don't the care. episodes like immediately afterwards. Literally... One of the motivating factors mm -hmm. for watching more episodes of Psyche K <laughs> is so that we can watch the next episode of the dub yeah. after watching the regular episode. Right, right. It's, yeah. I guess that, that one person was right that was like, you need to watch Psyche K. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I mean, like Nendo, we have all kinds of problems, but we're, we're unaware of them. They don't, they don't matter to us. Like, our yep. lives are perfect. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, so, yeah, y'all, without further ado, let's go see our Aniki. <laughs> All right, everyone, now be sure to go check out the reaction portion of the video in the description below, then come back here for the discussion. Oh my god. God, I, I just... just... Kubayasu, mm. Kaido... Yep. Ah, there's so many this... good moments this episode. But yeah, yeah, I guess they just keep hitting it out of the park. They, they just do. keep going. And yep. I, I, yep. I really love Kubuyasu, Kubuyasu as being a, a new character brought into the story. Yes. Mm -hmm. I feel like he's earned his keep right. thus far. Like his... He's done really good as being the surprise kind of transfer student character. Right. Know? His gimmick is very entertaining, but then there's also a lot of fun ways that it gets... Heartfelt. Like, yeah, heartfelt, right? Yeah. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't get stale or, yeah. it, you know, yeah. The the whole bit of of like him caring for the the little like cat or whatever it was that was like in the box or oh, the dog you're alone too right <laughs> right <laughs> oh and then like oh, just the, there were so many moments I don't know it's it's one of those things where I have trouble remembering a lot of scenes in an episode of this show mm -hmm. because then it's immediately followed up with a ton of stuff that I end up loving so yeah the joke per second speed is almost too damn fast right like. I, yeah, it's just a chaotic yeah. ride. Ah, just just so much fun. Uh, oh. Kaido dealing with the fact of like, is he a delinquent or not? That mm. was a wonderful skit. I absolutely yeah. loved that, and the way it tied then into getting mugged, right? And like, right. oh yeah, you know, yeah. give us your money, right? And then Kubayasu actually comes along, and he's yeah. like, well, I can't rely on him, right? Because mm. I, I believe it's all these terrible things, right? It's there's like that positive side to Kaido's Chuni, right? Mm -hmm. Where because he believes that he is the greatest dark flame ah, master, yes, the you know, jet so black he flame. Is the commander in chief, yes. Right, right, exactly. Everyone else is lower class, either elites yeah. or soldiers. Yes. Sometimes, not all the time, as was seen in the marathon, but sometimes he does hold himself to a higher standard of like, hey, that's not very Nakama of me, yes, right? True. I, would Luffy do that? I don't think so. So, <laughs> you know, I, therefore I can't, right? And it's like, you go, dude. Yeah, you go, you go. buddy. Yeah, you know, yeah. You, stand up for Psyche, right? As best you can. As best you can, because right. you might not. When really when they pull out the to. the actual big stick, then you're like, okay, oh, right here you go. You know, I'm sorry. Yeah, who wouldn't have a wallet, right? Who would not have a wallet? <laughs> right. But then once it's like, all right, now Psyche, your turn. He's like, run. Let's just run. And then <laughs> he can't. Like the on the running joke, uh, pun intended, yes, of Kaido just yes. not being able to run. I love uh, so much. Like it's it, been done in the OP. Mm -hmm. Like like yep. Oh wait, no, the ED. Or, oh. It was the oh yeah, that's right. ED. Yes, yeah. but like it reminds me. It makes me think of that scene in Parks and Rec where uh, Ron punches the one dude like jam, mm -hmm. and he's like, "No, I didn't think I knocked him out. I." actually seemed like he was leaping to the floor or something like that, you know, because <laughs> because it was like such a soft punch and yet this right. happened, right? Yeah. So, you know, Kaido just 
instantly getting caught by whoever's chasing him. It's just like, ah, yeah, he's almost running backwards like Nendo was doing with Hyro, you know. Almost. Almost. Because he's just that slow. Yeah. Running sucks. That's okay. It's, yeah. it's no. Running's amazing, but yeah. Okay, it can be. It can be amazing. It can be amazing. But, yeah. I loved the bit of, like, the, oh, no, we could all murder the teachers at this point because they have, like, these really awesome, like, insulating jackets and everything. Yeah. yeah. And we're out here freezing our balls off. Yeah, there's something... I think that's not talked about enough, mm -hmm. but there's this sick, twisted, like, cycle that goes on from adults in, in positions of power in that regard to kids where they're like, all right, children, now suffer as I suffer. I went through so much. You guys can take it, too. It's like, no, you didn't actually do that. <laughs> like, like, you actually didn't go uphill both ways through right, right. five feet of snow. That's just... Maybe you were kaidoing yourself to mm -hmm. be like, I'm so awesome, and now yeah. you're expecting kids to do that hmm. that would be uh 12th grade syndrome basically where you remember back to high school as only for that super best you know amazing time that you had okay super deep cut but how much want to bet i can throw a football over them mountains <laughs> like hey if you even understood yeah. that reference since you're dating yourself but I mean, that wasn't that long ago, really, in, uh, in the hard sense of it. But right. yeah, yeah. Right. Um, okay, so Kobayasu and Kaido kind of mm -hmm. for the duo MVP this episode. Yep. Um, Nendo, though, had some really cool moments, though. Because while he's playing into his dumbass bit, I ascended, Side jobs and... I ascended, though, when we saw him at the arcade. And he's like, what? This thing is broken. And, like, I literally... <laughs> feel like an asshole but i had a lot of uh i had mm -hmm. a lot of friends and particularly like if okay if no that's, ever that's saw the younger someone, sibling no thing, no no right? i know but we would we would pick on whoever was the youngest that is in the area oh. there that was like the younger sibling of one of our friends or something like that and be like hey come play with us and and we would pretend like we were doing so well yep yep and it was predetermined that one side would always get first and the other side would get second in the preview. So we would sit at the one that would, was, was just going to get first and then the other one. Because <laughs> they were linked. They were linked. Right, right. Yeah. So they'd be like, oh, man, they keep losing. <laughs> be like, yeah, yeah. Wow. Of course, we were just upset that we didn't have any money, so we just mm -hmm. wanted to right, have exactly. you know, fun making. Yeah. So so the yeah. thing is, you can laugh at people for having those situations where it's like that, oh, like, you know, when you're kids and you don't understand that the controller isn't plugged in or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I literally had a point of this, and this was on stream, by the way. I was playing Fall Guys, and, and the thing is, I lost. I remember this. I lost. Yeah. But I forgot to like exit out of the game because you have to do that for some reason because it gives you the option to like keep going to see how the game goes. And on the next round, it's so straightforward in the beginning of exactly what you need to do for optimal play. Right. So I'm literally just Following doing the stuff. A player. Yeah, and I'm doing the exact same controls, thinking that forgetting that I had lost, right? And it took about 12 seconds for me to realize, oh wait, that I that went to the wrong way. Oh. <laughs> I see. Mm -hmm. You know, so makes sense. We were doing a twelve-hour stream, so you know that's true. That that had something. Although to do with at it. the and same time, the this episode, we I kept playing. talking about hay fever, and I don't think that's contagious at all. So you well, know, also, but Nendo was the one saying this. So well, no, I know, but I was expecting it to be some joke of like the manager gets sick, but it's actually just because he's constantly sneezing and wiping his like tissues on other people and stuff. And so it's just like, no, no, no. It's not that he wrecks things at the place. It's right. just that he's constantly just a health hazard. Right. And then we found out not only that he is a wrecking ball of chaos, mm -hmm. ruining every part time job. He's and at, the other which he two only started are as doing well. recently because of Mira needing to have psyche. Well, psyche to help Mira made it so part-time jobs are normal for high right. schoolers. So exactly. this is a fun little continuity bit in that mm -hmm. regard. So Yep. That was cool. That, that was fun. But uh yeah. No, oh. no, no, you do have a dad. And he's with you constantly, but Indeed. Well, not constantly. No, he's actually <laughs> with Rayta more more than you. But you know He's nearby at the very least. That's it, that's relatively right. speaking. He's watching over sort of your general direction. <laughs> And then every once in a while, he's like, ugh. And then he goes back. Who's to that? It. They look weird. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, seeing 
or no, seeing hearing Nendo's voice come from a model that very much was not Nendo. That felt like the next evolution of the Nendo's mom, like there are Nendo's everywhere kind of joke. Mm -hmm. And I appreciated that because on the one hand, yes, Psyche, you helped Nendo out. Mm. But on the other hand, why would you open Pandora's box like that? <laughs> like you're so terrified of Nendo. Don't you want to? I mean, I guess he isn't using it on himself, but like just the idea that you could add additional levels of stealth to Nendo's mm. existence. I feel like that's something you don't want. It's like Psyche is like me and he's arachnophobic and then he changes all spiders to look like little teddy bears, right. you know, and he's like, like, oh, look at the little teddy bear. <laughs> exactly. Like, theoretically, even if you can't read Nendo's mind so you can't sense him, you could read the minds of other people that see Nendo. But if they ah. don't see Nendo as Nendo, then all of a sudden, what do you do? Yeah, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Ah, oh, but all right. All right, Kobayasu showing some character development. Yeah. Kaido uh, showing more some of his... Some character uh, development. Yeah, of character sort. development, but but also more of his connection with uh, the boys around him. Mm -hmm. And then we had the uh, competition, and Hairo being willing to cheat in order to win. That's right. That'd be cool. But then next episode, we could maybe see the girls' competition, unless it's the joke, you know, alongside... Uh, uh, what, what was her name? Chio? That uh, we're just going to get ignored, you know? Mm -hmm. But Terahashi would demand attention, so I would think that... But Terahashi be, wouldn't be necessarily be good at running. Episode. Like, I feel like... Terahashi I'm... would absolutely be good at running. She, she just wouldn't be great at it. Right, right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, and and there are if there are no guys in the race, then she can't make everyone else just give up so that she beats them, you know? Well, I mean, maybe some girls would do maybe. that, but, you know... Maybe. But yeah. yeah, yeah, there could be some people just encouraging mm -hmm. her along the way and stuff. <laughs> people coming by and giving her like you know like little little energy right. jellies. And then there's like you. the other like the other side where some of them come up and like kick the back of her leg, you know. <laughs> but <laughs> but yeah. um, all right, yeah. Oh, the the hockey air hockey, that was the air hockey. Bit that was, was amazing, mm, so good. Yeah, I, I literally played air hockey like two months ago for like the first time in years and mm -hmm. I was just like oh my god wow I, I, I love this I miss this so always much. sucked at air hockey oh, it's so fun it I is fun it is it's all about keeping your cool and not getting too aggressive mm -hmm. and basically performing like an unrelenting attack of sorts by just making sure that it's constantly being sent back in their direction so see that they don't uh, bounce it towards you and then you don't score on yourself you no know? yeah exactly i was worse than kaido i would sometimes score on myself and i was actually surprised that kaido how often it happened no no at that kaido that that didn't happen with kaido because oh. i feel like that's that's the ultimate way to just show they don't know what they're doing because that thing will keep bouncing like if you hit it especially if you hit it hard it'll just oh for quite a while yes. yeah the friction is very low yep yep but uh yeah that's, that's a good time i remember watching some people playing air hockey without turning the air on and they were just miserable sitting there for like few, <laughs> like like maybe like three or four minutes before someone came by and was like what what are you press the doing? button and then yeah, yeah. oh hey wow whole new world oh, yeah but everybody thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion if you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now though go check out the link in the description below for our patreon you can get an early access there you can watch full length timer reactions there and all this comes with discord access you can chat with us in the community there about this show about anime in general and also be sure to check out our twitch channel we stream every weekday the info's in the description yes yeah, so if that interests you we'll see you there but until then we're semblance of sanity i'm caleb i'm jacob and we'll see you all next, next time, time.